Good morning, it's Joe here and it's nice and early, it's about 6.30 and I've decided I'm going to investigate this mountain in Chiang Mai called Dui Sep and I want to do a cycling challenge but I kind of want to check it out first um, it's quite far away, I think just to get to the foot of the mountain at Chiang Mai Zoo is 11k and then there's a couple of stages up like to the first lookout, I look on the map it's about 7k then there's to the, the first temple is like another 7k and so on I think it's about 17 or 18 all in all but I want to have a look at it and maybe get some idea of what the stages could be to set some goals so first stage is going to be actually getting to that because even that's quite far for me cycling 11k <laughs> it doesn't sound a lot but it feels like a lot um, so I'll do that first and then we'll check, we'll check out the mountain all right let's go Yeah, so this is the base, and this is about 11k from my house, so that will be, hopefully in the future, be a nice warmer. But right now it'll be like my first stage, just coming here, going back, 22k round trip. So let's look at the next stage, which is the first lookout. Let's go. Look, some downhill. And coming downhill is the payoff, right? When you cycle anyway. This is one seriously never-ending hill, man. <laughs> My God, it just keeps going up and up. So this is the first stage, uh, sev about 7K from the, uh, from the bottom. So let's take a look. <laughs> Wow, that's Chiang Mai. Do you want me asking guys, how long does it take you to get to this stage? Yeah. From down there? Uh, 35, 40, 40, 40 minutes. Sure, I'm thinking of giving it a go, but uh, it's, nice. it's pretty steep though, but it looks beautiful. It's super, super. That 45 minutes, I reckon I'd be an hour and a half. <laughs> it's always start like this, yeah. so no problem. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. So I just spoke to a couple of French dudes and they get up here in 45 minutes to the first stage. Good to know. Now I'm going to head to the second stage, which is the Wat, the temple, Doi Siep temple, which I think is another 7k uphill. So this is it, Wat Doi Setep, and this is the second stage. I don't know if I can do this one. I can manage this first one, but the second one seems a little, little bit uncanny. So let's see what my Strada says. So it says I've gone 11.4 k there's 11.4 kilometers to here uh 11.4 kilometers to get to this so it's about seven to the first about six or seven to the first and then four or five to this one it's a manageable distance it's just pretty steep all right let's go further up so here we are what do you nice wall cyclists shops trees Got it all, baby. Man, it is spectacular up here. The higher you go, the more beautiful it gets. Check it out, it's amazing. So here I am at Bupping Palace. This is Bupping Palace. This is the third stage, which I'm probably not going to do this this year, I don't think. It's really steep and really far. We are now uh, 16 kilometers to here. At Burbing, Burbing Palace, which is that building there. That's some serious cycling. 
but beautiful, beautiful place. Amazing air. Mm, it's great. So now to the to the last stage, which is Doi Sutet Poi Lookout. This way. So the road just stretched, just shrank into two small lanes. So there's actually a campground up here. I'm going to keep on going. I think that we, we, I won't be cycling up here. <laughs> I think that Bupung campsite, is Bupung Palace is probably the end of the road for me. Uh, but it's good to see that there is more. There is even more you can do. But there's a village down that way and there is a campground up there. I'm gonna have a look at my Google Maps and see which way it is to the lookout, which is what I'm after. Uh, but yeah, I mean, cycling up here is, you're, you're in bonus territory. It's really gorgeous. Even hiking up here would be amazing. Uh, and coming up here on a motorbike is pretty cool too. But yeah, let me have a look at the map and I'll see where I'm gonna go next. Oh. Viewpoint. <laughs> and apparently, the top is another four kilometers up there. So, uh, I might as well keep going, eh? But I I'm not going to be cycling up here. I mean, we're probably, we must be 20k, 20 k, 20 k uphill, 20 k uphill. Seriously, I didn't even think that would be possible. I'm such a city boy. Yeah, so let's see what happens next. I've got my little guide here that sorts me out. So we're 18.4 kilometers from the start and we're, well, we're uphill. <laughs> and we've got a guy singing over here. So this way, 4K to the top? Yeah. This way, okay, I go. Thank you. There's another stage I didn't know about. 4K up there. So I might as well go now. I think I've got enough petrol. If not, I'll roll down. So that was actually the top, because I've just started coming downhill again. Once I went over that ridge, mm, such good air. Okay, that's it. That's the reconnaissance done. I know what my challenge is, is to get to the foot of this mountain and then to stage one. The rest is just entertainment.